Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and welcome to day 25 of the Inktober Tangles for 2023. I hope you're doing well, and I hope that you're enjoying this. We're working on our seventh tile. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm happy that we're making such good progress. All right, um, just really quickly, this is a sketchbook that I created. If you're interested in knowing about it, it's a disc bound system, and there is information in the description below the video in case you want to know more. If you're new to this playlist, please look in the description also for links to the introductory videos so you know what Inktober is about and how we are setting up our tiles. All right, since this is day 25, we are on our seventh tile. And again, if you're new, this is a Zentangle three and a half inch tile. And we have set it up with the pattern W2 as a string, and that is all described in the introductory and first video. All right, um, on a motto, ooh, before I forget, please use <laughs> at underscore BBL tangles if you uh, post your tiles on social media so that I see what you've done. This is the hashtag for the Inktober Tangles for 2023. Okay, now to this. Anamato is one of the Zentangle original 102 tangles. And I have been focused on those until Inktober came uh, because the 102 tangles of Zentangle poster is what introduced me to Zentangle. This is a very simple pattern. It's meant to be a ribbon. Um, <laughs> this one didn't come out quite the way I wanted it to, but I do have at least one person that's making each of the patterns into flowers. And I saw one that had kind of a flower shape, but it didn't have this end on it. Anyway, that's what I was trying to accomplish here. Um, we simply have an outside border, and then large orbs, small orbs around it. And I will be the first to admit that I don't make perfect orbs. And <laughs> I'm just going to do my best to make this look pretty. So let's pick green and let's get started. And I'm going to show you what I decided to do so you'll see ahead of time what I'm doing and why. Let me zoom in. All right. And I saw one, uh, a tile in the Mosaic app where they did something similar to this. And so I thought, well, that would be different. That would be fun. So I'm actually going to start with my graphite pencil. I will be using that a Micron PN, and my blending stuff. Kind of got ahead of myself there, didn't I? Yeah, that's okay. So to do this, I'm first going to put this kind of a wavy line, but I'm going to do it in pencil to start with. So let's just kind of start here. Ease our way up, come back down and up, and then we go just the opposite of that. So we're going to come like this, and this is similar to what they call an OG grid, O-G-E-E, -E, I believe, and then opposite of that, we're going to come in towards that one and back down. Okay. Listen. 
Okay, so now I'm going to take my pen and go over those lines. And one thing I have found is that I don't do very well with little tiny orbs. So I'm going to try to give this, make this not too small, but also not too big. Okay, now this one. All right, now we're gonna R that. Okay, hope my hand wasn't in the way. And now this one. Okay, and I'm going to turn it like this and R it. And these aren't perfect matches to each other. doesn't matter. All right, there we go. So now we're going to put some big orbs in here. Now you get to see <laughs> how my orbs look. Let's go for this. I tend to do better going counterclockwise. So I'm going to touch that bottom there. Come up and around. Eh, not terrible. Now, I like to start by touching the orb next to it and then come around. So we're going to do one here. Do one here, and I'm not going to worry about that side. I'm going to flip mine. Let's add another orb, and then this will just be a part of an orb. Okay, so let's do the same thing over here. Like I said, I like to touch that orb and then start my next one. <clears throat> All right, this will be a big one and that definitely did not fill that. It's okay, not perfect. You know, what we could do is just put another little orb down here. It's our art. <laughs> we can make it the way that we want. Now, you can go ahead and put little orbs in here where you have the space. You know, you might want to do yours in pencil first. And that's fine, too. Okay, so... We're going to put the little orbs on this uh, outside now. And I get to where I'm really concentrating on this, so if I'm not talking, <laughs> that's why. Like I said, on a motto, I usually see as just a straight ribbon that might divide two other patterns on the tile. And I was trying to find some other ideas and I really liked this one. In the Mosaic app it was, uh, <coughs> sorry, done in Beautiful colors. Okay. 
I think actually I have a lot of fun researching these patterns, trying to find something different. And as you can see, <laughs> I don't make perfect or perfect orbs. And it's okay. All right, there's that one. And I'm gonna turn and come down this side. Hard to believe we're on day 25. If you're new to Zentangle, there's always lists similar to this that come out. And in November, there should be a list coming out called Gratitangles. Oops, sorry. Gratitangles. Okay, so the next thing that we do, and like I said, if you want to, you could put another little orb in here. Fill in those spaces. Okay, and then the rest of this, we're just going to fill it in. It also gives you a little bit of opportunity to round out some of these if they didn't look like true orbs. Well, and the reason we say orb is because a circle makes you think it has to be a perfect circle, and it doesn't. I just wanted to let you know ahead of time that <laughs> I don't do orbs very well. Okay, so just keep filling these in. I'm not going to do anything on the outside of this. And even around this edge, we're going to fill in the little spaces that are left open. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and fill these in. I think it'll look better. And like I said, I'm going to round that edge a little bit better. <clears throat> And this will look even better after we get some shading on it. And, of course, on your tile, you're welcome to do it like this. That's perfectly fine. I am going to show you how I do the um, shading like that. I may have shown you that on some other tiles. Just notice that area. And I will come back after the video and make sure I haven't missed anything. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to take my graphite pencil and I am going to make, I have it almost flat in my hand. 
flat against this. And with the side of the pencil, I'm going to make a nice, dark, kind of a crescent moon shape up here. I'm putting a pretty good amount. I'm going to do the same thing here. And if you're afraid of putting too much, then just put a little bit until you get used to doing this. We're going to blend it out, and then it's going to look like that. Okay, and then we're going to do kind of the same thing on each of these smaller ones. Just a little C shape up there at the top of your biggest orbs. We're not doing it here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we don't see much of that one, but we'll put a little bit there anyway. Okay, so now with my blending stump also on its side, I'm going to just start little circles. Okay, and pulling that down. Okay softening it, and then soften your touch. And then we could go ahead with what's on our blending stump and bring some shading along the bottom. We want to leave an area that doesn't have any shading on it. Almost like a little smile down here. Just a little bit of an opening. Okay. Just kind of soften that. Okay, we're going to do that on all of these. Just soften the top, bring it very softly down, and leave some of that with no shading. All right, now on this side, again, just very soft circles, bringing that down, and then you've got enough on your graphite, or your uh, blending stump that you can put a little bit of shading down here, and then leave that section open. Just a very simple way to make an orb look like it has some dimension to it, like it's an actual ball. All right, there we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of graphite on the outside. And then soften that. Now, if you wanted to, you could come back with white and put a little bit. You may not be able to see it much here, but it you know, can give you a little bit 
of a wider area if you're using a colored tile. And then you could also <clears throat> use a jelly roll pen and make these white, okay? And I may come back and do that, <clears throat> excuse me, after I finish the video. All right, thank you so much. Let's put these together again. Zooming out. And this is what I needed. <laughs> Not that other one. All right. Day 25 is finished. So we have six to go. Wow. This is going to be fun. Then I have to figure out what I want to put in the center of mine. But uh, I'll figure something out. All right. Thank you again for joining me. This has been a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this and uh, hope that you are too. If you're having fun, please hit the like button, subscribe, tell your friends. And if you post your tile, please tag me at BBL Tangles. And that way I'll see it. I do respond to your comments and I love seeing your work. So, uh, Thank you again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.